The start of a brand new year is greeted with fanfare and celebration. And today on this first weekend of a new year, we are here to celebrate too. But we celebrate much more than the changing of a number on a calendar. Instead, we are here to celebrate the blending together of two families into one through the love commitments one person makes to the other. We are here to witness and to celebrate love. Friends and family, we are gathered in the sight of God. Let everyone know that marriage is a sacred commitment, a covenant, a way of life ordained by God from the beginning of all things. It is into this sacred covenant that Nikki and Trevor now desire to enter. So as I was preparing for this, thinking through the almost three decades together, um, this the, the word steadfast kept gnawing at the back of my head as trying to think of how to describe Trevor. And it's not a, it's not a word we commonly use. It's not one we throw around. It's not, you know, some pop culture buzzword. Steady doesn't quite cut it. Steady falls a little bit short because, I mean, complacent people are steady in their doing of nothing. A lead weight is steady. A freight train is steadfast. There's a deliberate, intentional, effortful forward motion that comes with that steadfastness, yet single tracking just straight ahead in the route that is headed. And, and, that's, and that's Trevor. That's the Trevor I've known over the last almost 30 years. such an awesome day. I'm just so excited for my sister and my new brother. I love you. Everyone's claiming they love Trevor first, but I love Trevor first. Before Nikki did, I saw these pictures and I was like, he's really cute. Whoever you're talking to, dump him and date this guy. He's way cuter. And just seeing them together, it's just so great. I've never seen Nikki so just full of joy, full of excitement for the future. She's just been so consistently steadfast is just perfect for Nikki as well she's been so steadfast in the life she's wanted she's never strayed away from it and Trevor just fits so seamlessly into it As parents, when our kids are growing up, we often wonder and pray about who our child is going to marry. We pray that as parents, we try to set our best example for them. Trevor is a man of God, and uh, he's a humble man of good character, um, and he's obviously filled with the desire to follow Christ and make sure that he puts uh, him first and to always serve and provide for his wife, which has always been my number one requirement in life. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Nikki. You are the most beautiful, beautiful woman in the entire world. And the way you look today absolutely, absolutely removes any doubt of that. <laughs> but your outer beauty, although it is overwhelming as it is today, completely pales in comparison to your inner beauty. You are the kindest, smartest, most caring, most patient person I've ever met. Everyone who meets you is infinitely better off for it. And I'm just the prime example of that. I truly am at my best when I'm with you. 
Trevor. It's by the grace of God that I get to stand up here today in front of all the people that we love most in the world and declare that I love you and that I love so many things about you. I love your tender and compassionate heart. I love that you're a man of integrity. I love your humility despite your many strengths. I love how deeply you care for those in your life and that you find joy in bringing joy to others. I love your sense of humor, even though I don't always admit that to you. <laughs> I love your signature dance moves. <laughs> but most of all, I love your authentic desire to live a life that is pleasing to God and that I don't have to think twice about trusting you with my heart. As a minister of God, by the authority invested in me by the state of California, but by the authority that comes only from God, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife and to remind you that God's word says, what he has joined together, let no one tear apart. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Anyone who knows you both, all of you here, everyone here has, has testified to what a what a power couple of two you are, both in what you can do and just the, the kindness and love you guys exude. And we're all so thankful and blessed. And so I want you guys to go away knowing how loved and supported you are by everyone here. So to Trevor and Nikki. Everyone. Nikki and Trevor, Jesse and I love you so much. We're always going to be here to support you, to love you, to just be your guys' cheerleaders through life and uh, we can't wait to be Uncle Jesse and Auntie Kimmy, so no pressure, but let's raise a glass to Nikki and Trevor. Definitely excited that you guys are now married and, and I have my fourth daughter now, and it's very exciting. To Trevor and Nikki.